What's up, Mets fans? It's Mark and James from the Mets Up Podcast. We have an incredible interview today. New signing with the New York Mets, Kodai Sanga. Kodai, thank you so much for joining us today. Just a couple quick questions. Have some fun. Keep it nice and easy. I feel like the big question everybody wants to know, why New York? Why the Mets? The Mets are a team that's obviously going to win right now, and they're focused on winning. So the fact that I could come here and be able to learn and contribute to the winning as well. Have you been to New York City before? Do you like the city if you have? And if you do, what areas have you found like you've had a good time in? I had the, I had the chance to come to New York about a month ago and definitely enjoyed the city as well, and it's a great place. Um, as far as favorite place goes, Queens. Queens. <laughs> <laughs> You've been wanting to pitch in the major leagues for a while now. What excites you about finally making it here? I'm happy. <laughs> yeah. Us too. <laughs> <laughs> um, how familiar are you with some of the major league hitters? And if so, are there any that you're very excited to pitch against? He's very much aware of the players that are, you know, like plastered everywhere. They're superstars that are kind of on TV and stuff everywhere. As far as the guys that he would like to face, the whole Phillies lineup, starting with Schwarber, Harper, and then in the same division, you got the Braves with uh, Ronald Acuna Jr. Acuna Jr. Are you excited to pitch in the same rotation as two legendary superstar pitchers, Max Scherzer and Justin Verlander? And have either you reached out to them yet or them to you? He's yet to re or reach out or talk to either of them. But obviously he feels very honored to be able to share a rotation spot with those two. But he's, he's not sure if this is actually real yet. <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine. So you've had a journey in, through your baseball career where you, you know, you've really been grinding it out. You start off in the developmental league. When did it finally click for you that you'd be able to make it at the major league level? Um, he's not sure if there was any like, certain specific point in time where he was like, I think I could pitch against the people in the majors. But as far as when he started to want to come over here was in 2017, the WBC. Yeah, we remember that. You blew Team USA away. I think you struck out five guys in, in two innings. That was a pretty amazing outing. But even now, since then... We know we've read a lot that as you've developed as a pitcher in Japan, you've really leaned a lot on information, analytics, technology, and data to help you learn. Is this something that's common in Japan? Is something you want to continue now in this organization? So it's uh, definitely the amount of information that is available to players and teams in the U.S. is much higher than in Japan. So he's excited to be able to have access to more of that information here, and he believes that he could take that to improve. Ever since hearing about you, we've been hearing about the Ghost Fork. How did that pitch come about? How did it get that nickname. Just tell us a little more about the ghost fork. Uh, um, naturally, just he was practicing just a fork ball as as is, nothing special. But then as he just kind of threw it more and more, it turned into what it is now. Yesterday, you were being pretty funny on Twitter when you asked Mets fans to pick your jersey number. <laughs> what was your first uh, introduction like to Mets fans, and how did that number actually wind up getting picked? Um, first off, 21 and 41 are obviously numbers that are not un they're unavailable to him to use here even though he used them in Japan and as for the number choosing process he was really stuck between three numbers he doesn't really have a preference per se for a number um, but he is very excited and honored to be able to wear the number 34 looking at your Twitter you mentioned that you're a huge fan of manga so what would be one manga that you recommend to <laughs> Mets fans One Piece you, One Piece you One Piece, one piece. Oh, okay. one piece? Yeah. Yeah. yeah I've heard of One Piece yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah Coming up for the season we want to get Mets fans prepared for your first start and we we're thinking maybe you could tell us how to say some popular baseball phrases in Japanese um, does that sound good Nice idea Okay so yeah. the first one is going to be he struck him out Sanshin 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 Japanese yeah Sanshin Sanshin Struck out Struck out yeah Struck out yeah Okay Sanshin Next one fastball Thread. 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 Forcing? Yeah. 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 Forcing. Yeah. Forcing. Masugu. 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 Okay. Masugu. Thread. Yeah. Masugu. Yeah. Ghost fork. Sono mama de. Just as is. Ghost fork. Okay. Ghost fork. Ghost fork. Ghost fork. Perfect. Yeah. Next one. This is more of a Mets phrase. Put it in the books. Kekka o dase. Kekka o dase. Kekka o dase. Hi. Okay. Go dase, go vase. Yare, yare, yare mi demoshi. Last one, easy one. Let's go Mets. 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 Keep it easy. Yeah. All right, Kodai, thank you so much for taking the time today. We appreciate it and uh, excited to see you pitching Queens. I'm very excited as well. Thank you so much for watching, Mets fans. We, like you, are so excited to have Kodai here and we hope you enjoy it. See you next time.
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.